What's up, y'all, man? Y'all know what time it is, man. Today we're checking out Theo Vaughn, White Privilege. Alrighty. Now, I have never heard of this comedian. Uh, this would be my first time checking him out. I, I, I did. I think I've seen him before. Um, uh, like, you know, maybe on some Instagram reel or something. And I may have seen him around. But uh, you guys said that this, this, this in particular was pretty funny. So I'm ready to check it out, man. Before we get started, if you guys have other comedy stand-ups, whatever y'all want me to check out, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy the video, please subscribe. Let's do it. So I grew up in my neighborhood. We didn't have a lot of diversity in my neighborhood. Diversity is always people's talking about it. And we didn't have it. You know, my neighborhood was poor black, poor white. That was our neighborhood, you know? So I didn't feel any white privilege. I know some people had it, man, you know? I knew some motherfuckers with sweaters. <laughs> but I was two tank tops in the winter, okay? <laughs> and I just didn't feel it, you know? I wish I'd have had some white privilege, dude. Sign me up. <laughs> but I didn't have it, man. It was just poor black kids, poor white kids, man. And my poor black friends would always be like, man, look what you did to us. And I'm like, dude, do you think I would do all that shit to y'all and then move right next door, bro? <laughs> now, we going to split this plum or not, dog? <laughs> God, that was funny. <laughs> you know, and I'm still stuck on the two, <laughs> the two white tees. Yo, he said he had to put on one white t-shirt and a second one? Oh, my God. Now, that's struggle, man. That's prime time struggle. I don't think I ever heard something like that except for that's worse, except for like a mayo sandwich, bro. I've heard that too before, man. That's crazy. We're in this together, man. <laughs> it was hectic sometimes. Fighting with black kids is tough. I don't know if you ever fought a bunch of black dudes, but they win. <laughs> <laughs> They win, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I got jumped one time after a football game by five black dudes. I don't know if you ever fought five black dudes at night. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine you're fighting five black dudes, right? Now close your eyes. <laughs> now how many black oh, dudes funny. are you fighting? <laughs> as many as your imagination can hold. <laughs> this is funny, man. Oh, this is good, bro. <laughs> and, it, and white kids are horrible too, man. It was just in, in poverty. It's just that's what's going on, man. <laughs> and if you're a black guy and you feel like that's racially insensitive, then imagine you're fighting five white dudes in a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like, damn, this cloud is aggressive <laughs> <laughs> and accurate. <laughs> Yeah. So the fun thing. I, the what I love about this, bro, is how calm and subtle it was. <laughs> I, it felt genuine. Because <laughs> he was so cool about it. You know what I'm saying? Like most comedians try to add a little bit of funny flair and say it a certain way. Five fighting five black dudes in the dark. <laughs> like it, it was genuine. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious, man. And uh, oh man, yo, I, it made me really want to check out some more of his 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 content, man. That was funny. I I would like for you guys to recommend some more, man. Please do. It's a short one, you know what I'm saying? Quite a quick one, but uh, I had fun with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. As always, I love y'all. Peace out.